Hey guys, it's time for another episode of Ask Dr. Jacqueline. So one of the questions I get often via um, inboxing, um, emails, texting, mostly texting, is I'm having some pain around my big toe joint. What could it be? So especially if I have not seen you in person, um, a lot of times it's usually family or friends <laughs> that are asking, but if I haven't seen you in person and it doesn't matter, even if you are family and friends, I want to see a picture of it and I want to know your history, how it's, how's it starting? How long has it been going on? What makes it occur? So gout is fairly common. I see it mostly in men, usually over the age of 30, although it can occur in women, it's pretty rare unless you're over, you know, menopausal age. So Usually people are like, oh my gosh, I have so much pain in my big toe joint or I can't move my toe. I can't put, you know, it, it's horrible. I can't sleep or, you know, it wakes me up out of my sleep. I can't put a bed sheet on it. I can't put a sock on. I can't put a shoe on. Um, I can't go to work. I don't know what this is and what can I do? So gout is a form of arthritis and it's usually due to, it's due to usually high urate levels and so that can form your acid in your body and it usually affects your joints usually the big toes where I see it most common commonly but you can have it in your um, ankles your knees your wrist your fingers but mostly I see it in the big toe and as I said most people are just in relentless pain and so when people are coming in for it, you know, if it's been a relatively short period of time, like they, it happened overnight and they're coming in first thing in the morning, then I'll get a uric acid level test. Even if they're coming in a little bit late, I'll try to get a uric, I'll get a uric acid test just to see their levels. Um, but the levels are usually highest between four to 12 hours. So if you had it like two weeks ago, it may not be, it may not show up on the test. So, but I'll still get the test because I want to see what your baseline is. And then we go from there. And really, I want to see what is your diet. Gout is um, commonly caused by red meat and organ meats. And that's a good question. I hear you like, what the heck is an organ meat? Organ meats are things like liver, um, kidneys, um, something called sweet bread. You know, basically the organs that you find inside of an animal's body. Also seafood and then alcohol. How much alcohol are you consuming, especially beer? So these are the things that I wanna know. And also, are you at a healthy weight? Are you at an optimal weight? And do you have any other comorbidities such as diabetes, hypertension? There's quite a few things that could lead to gout. But it's so painful for a lot of people. It's very debilitating. So when people come in, I want to get a. Um, I also want to take an X-ray. Really important. I want to see if there's any changes to the joint, especially if it's been going on for a while. We want to make sure that we maintain the integrity of that joint. So I there's medications out there that can help with gout, and we could do some diet changes, some lifestyle modifications, and things like that to get you feeling better. Um, your your eight levels and your crystals can also lead to kidney stones in your kidneys. Interesting little fact. So we wanna make sure that you're taking care of yourself and keeping your body well. And gout sounds like it's no fun. I've not had it myself personally, but we wanna get you on the mend. So we'd love to see you here at Roca Foot and Angle where we can help you with your gout issues. Thank you.